Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Down to Earth episode 205. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, sorry to bother. My application? Oh, all right. I'll make sure this gets to my manager. The thank you. Sorry, I turned it in late. I had a busy day today. Sorry, what was that? Uh, uh, nothing important. Thank you for your time. Uh, she's really shy. Uh, she's more socially awkward than me. I had no idea you lived next door to me. How am I just finding uh, now? How am I just now finding out? I hardly leave my apartment. I only do if I'm going into work or shopping. I suddenly felt like I needed a walk today. I suppose. Uh, you're feeling down, I guess. Disappointed, yeah. Not to pry, but it's about Kate, right? Hmm. You both talked then. Uh, yeah. Of course. Is this why you wanted to join me? Huh? To talk about Kate? Huh? I don't understand. Why won't he just talk to me? I think the issue is Kate is scared to talk about it. It's not that he doesn't want to. He just can't. <sighs> I don't want to lose your friendship again. It's not easy to talk about what happened. I'm going home. Sherry, wait. Whoops. Sorry, Kate. Uh, I'm okay. I'll be okay. It, it is okay to not be okay, Ethan. <laughs> it's okay. I'm better now. But you are still crying. So, what's going on? Something about your friend Jessica? For a week now, she stopped talking to me in the hallways. I got worried, maybe I just, I upset her. It didn't make sense. So, today I decided to confront her about it. That's when I saw her holding hands with a guy. She started a relationship and now she's avoiding me, like I don't even exist anymore. I thought we were friends. This really hurts. I wonder if that's how they felt. When I got with Delilah. And stopped hanging around. Side note, now if you started a relationship, you should never drop your own friends for this person. Like, yeah, they're great and all, but your friends been there with you since the beginning through it all you know like don't just drop your friends like that like that's really selfish and immature of you because once the th if this relationship doesn't work out you have no one you're all alone you lost this girl that you drop your friends for and you lost your friends like but real friends do forgive you if you open up to them and you talk to them about it, but you you have to know how to balance things out. My advice is to talk with her. Maybe there is a misunderstanding. Hmm. Then you guys can figure a solution if there is one. But also like, he, uh, Ethan is also in high school and like, I remember just like girls and guys, like if they're together, the guys get really jealous if the girls have guy friends. And same with the girls. Girls get really jealous if the or if their boyfriend has friends that are girls, you know? So it's tough. It's really tough because young people are very toxic. Like I used like even people my age, I'm like about to be like it like, you know, I'm in my late twenties. They, I still meet people who are extremely jealous. 
unless they have valid reasons like i am totally okay with my husband having friends that are females but there are certain friends that are females that i feel kind of iffy about especially if they're touchy and when they're laughing with him and like you know of course those friends are not around anymore i'd be like hey you know like this person doesn't seem like a friend like i feel like they have some sort of feelings for you and of course truth surfaced and yeah so it's up to him if he wants to choose this friend or our relationship but of course he doesn't see a future with them so of course he walked away and that person was not happy about it but it's fine it's been like three years now so but yeah high school and people yeah no anyways blabbering yeah you're right it'll be hard but i'll talk to her pull it for my love i mean we're all graduating in a couple of weeks anyways so i guess it doesn't matter graduation oh are we allowed to attend your graduation yeah anyone is allowed i do not know what it is but i wish to go um your horns say Oh, that's right. Well, I will hope they fall out before then. You just worry about saving your friendship. Thanks, Ada. Udon. Udon sounds so good right now. It's been a while. It's been three months since I last had it. <sighs> Favorites. Yes, his mom is his favorite. They, and who's the P one? Is he Sherry, Dash, Dustin, Ellie? Who's a P? Down to Earth. All right. Okay. It's, I mean, okay, so now we know Ethan is going through something that's very similar. And Zeta is right. Talk to them. Save that friendship. Let them realize like, hey, you know, I know you're in this fresh relationship. Just know I'm here for you. I'm still your friend. But, you know, don't don't drop me for this new person so quickly. Like, can we make time? And like for me, my realistic story is, you know, I used to have a best friend. Um, we stopped being friends over, I mean, it's over a year now. But we were friends since middle school. When she started her relationship with this guy in high school, she dropped, she dropped everyone around her for this guy. And I got really upset with her for that. And we got to a big fight and eventually I had to put down my ego, like, you know, like my, my anger of like, hmm, I'm not going to talk to her ever again. I put it down. I was like, you know, like, I love this girl way too much to lose this friendship. So... I pulled her to the side when I saw her in the hallway. We're in high school. And we talked things out and we saved the friendship. And honestly, we never had a fight since. You know, we were friends for 15 years. And honestly, last year, you know, I can't believe, like, our friendship ended now. But it's, you know, I still think about her, like, from time to time. Because, you know, I really, like, adore and I love this person, like, so much. Like, that's my, like, my ride or die, you know, my best friend. But, of course, uh, she changed into, she converted into a certain religion that was not very open to other religions. And I'm, I'm Buddhist. And, of course, she was trying to convert me. And I didn't appreciate that. And, of course, uh, the friends that she's around were very, like, judgmental. Well, this specific person. And just, like, full of themselves. And I just talk to them about it the, the person that annoys me i was like hey you know you're doing things that is really hurtful my best friend didn't agree with it or my former best friend didn't agree with it and you know she dropped me so yeah so honestly i would love to like you know reach out to them and just to talk to them because it's been a year and lots lots have happened you know like i had a kid you know i am uh, married and all that stuff but yeah, I am like, if I could follow through like what Cade is about to do, which is talk to Sherry, I would totally do it, you know, but 
that door is not open for me. So guys, definitely if you guys can save your friendship, do it. If you guys feel like you can just move on without this person in your life, that's okay. Because I have to be okay with that. Anyways, we got this. <laughs> Alright guys, if you guys enjoyed the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!